Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Dre. I wanted to come to you with the, an unboxing of the Beretta PX4. Now, I previously had the FNS40, but I traded that at the local gun range. I had fired the PX4 a few weeks ago, and I fell in love with the gun. Now, for me, when I was searching for a gun initially, I liked the look of the FNS40 with the Picatinny rail, just overall cosmetic design. And then all of a sudden, a little bit later, when I started looking at different guns, I saw the PX4, and I liked the overall streamlined look. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this baby open. I'm not going to waste any time with five minutes of uh, palaver and then get on with the unboxing. Uh, just so you, you know, it comes with this uh, case. It also has a uh, paper sleeve around that. I've gone ahead to remove that. Uh, it's got the Beretta logo on that, Italian made. And you can tell by the design, uh, here is the gun itself, the PX4. Now, this is the F type. It's got the manual safety with the decocker. It's a hammer fire. Uh, the FNS40 that I had was, that's the decocking motion right there. But the FNS40 was a striker fire uh, with no safety. Uh, comes with two two clips, and I know uh, gun nuts will ask uh, as far as a safety check. I'll go ahead and eject the magazine, and then lock the barrel. So nothing down the pipe, nothing down there, and of course with the hammer, when you uh, rack the slide, the hammer goes back, and you can use the safety to decock it now this is a double action single action the double action is a uh, pretty heavy it's about 10 to 12 pounds single action is very smooth when I fired it uh, you think you know you're looking at roughly four pounds uh, for the single action very smooth gun and I'll go over some of the features now um, as a Texas resident because depending on where you live that will determine the size of the magazine this is a 40 caliber and uh, it's a compact version once again there's a full size the compact and then the subcompact. I like the full size and the compact because of the rotating barrel, and we'll touch on that in a few moments. Uh, one of the ways that you can tell the difference, especially when you're um, purchasing your magazines, at least with what comes in the box, the compact has the orange uh, indicator right here uh, when you're uh, putting in the bullets. I forgot what that's called. I guess I should know that, but I'm still learning, so forgive me. Uh, but this is a 12 capacity. You can get higher capacity. And the good thing about this, these magazines are interchangeable. So while it may or may not fit with the full size, I believe it will, but it'll definitely fit in the compact. It'll extend out a little bit, but it will fit in the subcompact. That's I meant to say that. Now, it comes with uh, three back straps. The one that's already attached on here is a medium, but it also has the small, and they have these rigid plastic parts. Uh, I guess just to keep it from flexing when it's being transported and uh, losing its shape. And then they have the large. Uh, one of the ways that you can remove the back strap, there's going to be a cotter pin. So this right here, you just take a screwdriver. I see some people taking their utility knife and just prying this part off. And then the back strap slides off. You could just exchange that. I keep it with the, met, uh, with the medium because uh, it looks nice. The large, it looks nice, but because of a... I guess uh, the way that it was molded, there's part of it that kind of sticks out, so it's not uh, cosmetically, it kind of ruins it because of the part that sticks out uh, on the handle. Uh, ambidextrous controls, not everything is ambidextrous, but again, you have the safety decocker, that's the F-Type once again, so that's ambidextrous, it's on both sides. It's got the little wings that kind of make it stick out. It's got the ambidextrous slide controls with a slide stop or slide lock. And as a right-hander, uh, it has the magazine release. Now, uh, you can stick a pin or something in there and switch that around to the other side for left-handed shooters. Uh, it's got a fairly thick trigger, so it doesn't have the trigger safety like the FNS-40. And then the takedown is extremely simple. It's got the Glock-style takedown. You see that on both sides. And essentially... And I'll do the takedown in a few moments, but you just pull the tabs down and the slide will s slip forward a little bit and you can just push it forward with your thumb. It also has an indicator up top. You can barely see it just due to the lighting. But uh, right here, 
as you're uh, pulling back on the trigger right before it breaks, um, this part will come up. It's got a three dot sight and I have once again done a safety check so don't freak out because I have a gun pointing at my at my dick. But uh, I'm not going to shoot anything off. But it's got the uh, it's got the three dot sight. Not it's not a night sight by the way. There you go. But that's uh, really nice gun. And one of the things that I really like is just the uh, the rotating barrel. You can kind of see it as I slide it as I rack it back. So uh, very nice gun. As far as with the handle, it's got uh, some texture, some checkered texturing on the back of the of the gun as well as on the front of the handle. I've seen people get a, you know, the kind that a uh, rubber kind that slide on and also they have some custom ones that they make um, just for better handling. But this is a really nice gun. Um, I just need to um, clean the oils off, frog lube it, and uh, have it ready to go. Now as far as takedown, once again, just uh, pull that and I'll just rack it back once again. And you may not be able to hear it, um, but if you look closely at the magazine as I pull the tabs down, okay, you may not have seen that, but okay, there it is. So it slid forward a little bit, and then this comes forward. So the takedown is very easy. It's got a polymer um, handle, and it's got the steel frame uh, slide. Excuse me. It's got the uh, bullet indicator, so when it's loaded and it's hot. This little indicator will uh, protrude out slightly and show red. That's just to let you know that you have a, a hot gun. And it's got the housing right here with the recoil spring. With that, uh, it's pretty easy to take down. There's a recoil spring. And the spring comes out. You have that part right there. And then, of course, you have your barrel. Now it's got the little groove in here, so as it's um, as the gun is discharging and the slide is going back, it rotates. And this little part right here, it goes in place with this little part right here. I don't know if the uh, camera will focus properly, but it just a nudge, it just fits in that little part, and that's what causes the ro the barrel to rotate. Um, once again, this is about a 3.5 inch barrel, 3.2 maybe, well 3.5, so that's a compact version. And then of course that uh, assembly is pretty simple. Just make sure that the when you put the barrel in, that the this little groove is facing up. And then as you fit the recoil spring back in, it fits in nice and neat. And then as far as going back on the frame. And that's pretty much it. Now, some people don't like uh, the safety, especially for those who intend to conceal carry, primarily because uh, if anything should ever happen and they have to present the firearm, um, they want to make sure that when they need to protect themselves that the gun is not in safety. Some have had concerns about when you're racking the slide and whether you'll uh, pull the safety down. They do have a G-type um switch and basically there's just like a little knob in there uh, and I've seen one video with a guy I forgot his name but um he basically disassembled this and there's a bead that um basically locks it in place which keeps it um locked in safety mode and then of course a hot mode that's what I call it but um with the G type all you do is decock it and it automatically goes back up so all the gentleman did was he removed that one little bead and that's what kept it from staying locked in the safety position. Uh, so something I don't think I'm going to do that again, as I mentioned with my video for the FNS 40, I really don't have any intention of concealed or open carrying outside of the home because you already saw what happened to Philando Castile. I don't want to be the next hashtag, but again, at the same time, I may consider getting like some sort of tactical messenger bag, uh, getting a Velcro holster and doing that. Um, maybe, maybe not primarily because I don't really spend a lot of time outside like some people do. Um, but that's just a consideration. Anyway, um, with this, uh, what also comes with the gun has a lock. All guns will have that. It's got this little cup right here. Um, really the only use is when you're transporting it. 
Uh, it just keeps the box from crushing in, especially if you have something on top of it. Again, you have your second magazine. You have this very basic magazine uh, magazine speed loader. Um, I've got my Upalula, so I'll never use this. And under the cover here, you have all the paperwork. It does come with the um, a nylon as well as a, a brash cleaning brush. And also, um, at the end of this, you know, for your... Uh, for your cotton at the end here, uh, you can use that to clean the inside of the barrel. So I'll just keep that in there since I have already have a cleaning kit. And then of course you have all the other literature which, you know, it comes in English and Italian. But um, I'll just leave that as is. But that's basically it for the Beretta PX4. Um, wonderful gun. I look forward to shooting it again. Let me go ahead and put my magazine back in here. Um, but a but a very smooth gun uh, with the rotating barrel. It's to uh, reduce recoil and improve accuracy. I want to make sure I touch upon that. It's got the little beaver tail, so just you know, holding a gun high on the tang. And I'm still learning as a new gun shooter, but I'm really excited about this. Uh, it's got the Picatinny rail, so you can mount a laser or a flashlight. But uh, again. This is just a great gun. Um, I'll do some more shooting, and I'll make videos. Anyway, if you like this video, hope that you like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Peace.